belts, belts, belts. It doesn't matter what division you're in. That's what determines whether you're one of the greats or just a mid-carder. But before I give you my fantasy belt pack that I, that I hope that Mattel releases, because this one was the first one. This was a ringside exclusive. It, this was kind of like something that we had gotten in the past, but it was rare to get. So if you wanted that belt alone and not the figure, it was difficult. So ringside, they made it a little bit easier. And if they do release one, which I know they will, you, you just got to give it some time. I'm sure either late 2019 or next year they'll give us another belt pack of some of the rarest belts that we've gotten in the past or maybe introduce something new like right here my guy last smith this is what we're introducing to the channel this these are the one that we're about to get here you guys this one is a custom but i'm sure like because the one thing that they're always trying to do man they're not just trying to you know target the main roster they're sometimes trying to target whether it's 205 live or um or, for example, that 24-7. Oh, just imagine that, man. I know people are not a fan of that, but now we need that in figure form. Last Smith, he's always on the trigger. I saw him post. Well, you guys will see. Well, sooner than later, you will see that Last Smith will be one of the regulars here on the channel. Link in bio. Go follow him on Instagram. If you are interested in something like this, he does have these up on his um on his page so go give him a follow hit him up on the dm if you are interested in the north american title now when we put that right there on the champ right here the dream yes it has come to be look at that man that is lit right and the cool thing about last smith's work is that he doesn't just get like regular like some of the previous custom belts that i've gotten in the past they were just they were made out of like plastic or printed on paper one thing that last smith does apart from using like a realistic looking strap he actually uses like actual plates so what you're seeing right here on the north american title this is an actual plate, so it's not just a plastic printed onto fabric. This is an actual plate. I don't know the process that he goes through to make these, so that's one question that you'll have to ask him, but letting you know right now that the accuracy and the detail on these, they are just impressive. Dude, I love the side plates. I like how you did like in between the side plates and the actual main plate. You can see North America right there. And the way that this is uh, put together, I've seen multiple different straps that he's done. He's done some with Velcro, which I think that's what this one, yeah, this this one is made out of Velcro. And the other ones that I've also seen, he also does, uh, I believe, and Last Smith, if you're watching this, but let me know. I think he also have, he's got some where he's got like actual buttons, so it clips on. So if the waist is bigger on a superstar, you can adjust that accordingly. And you can do that with this one as well. As you can see the, the strap right there on the Velcro, you can either put it up close or higher up, just depending on how it all works now when you put it on the shoulder this i just i'm in love with it now if you guys didn't see this custom first of all man go on the channel go drop a like on that video go drop a like on this video because this custom right here this one is lit this is when he took on alistair black yeah full review on the on this specific custom is on the channel we got alistair black on the right and right there I and mean, this is from nxt takeover and this is using a what was it not kofi kingston but uh well actually you know what i think it was a kofi kingston torso either a kofi kingston no it wasn't a shelton benjamin because shelton benjamin did, did have different lats on the actual torso but yeah this is not the actual triple h style of look or booker t however you want to look at it this is something uh a lot smaller and something that we should have gotten but this belt just really Brings it all together. This was my missing piece right here for my North American title champ right there. Look at that, man. That is clean. And uh, one thing that I was saying earlier in the video, how the strap right there, most most of the time how, like, you know, the, the Mattel figure ones, you have to, like, buckle it up so it actually looks like it's hanging over the shoulder. With the fabric one, it just lays on there right. So, obviously, you'd have to bring in the hand close. But it just lays on there right how an actual belt does. Man, I love this, man. I really like And whatever material he's using, I think this might be leather or pleather, either or. I like how the the overall mate, material feels. The fit and finish, man, is it's right there on the money. And, uh, once you do put it around the waist, yeah, you can adjust it accordingly depending on how you're feeling that day. Whether you're feeling tight around the waist, because I know after I go to a buffet, man, I got to adjust that belt right here. There it is. There's now going to what I was telling you guys, the fantasy belt pack that I hope that we get at some point. Right here, this, I reused the same packaging that we had gotten uh from the ringside exclusive, I just put in some of the ones that I wanted to see. Now, first up, 
we got to cover this one. The spinner belt, okay, the first one that we got right here, that you're seeing right here, actually, you're, you'll see it right here on the side, it's the Edge, the Rated R, which was this kind of his own modified version of it. I want the regular one, man, because if you get the regular one, you can either put it on John Cena, you can put it on CM Punk, Alberto Del Rio, I mean, you can put it on, num on different number of superstars. This one right here, it was limited. You could have only put it on Edge, and what, who was it? I think it was Cena, but it, I mean, he had ended up changing after that. I'll have to go back and check, but um, it was just mainly targeted to one superstar, so give us the regular spinner belt right here. I think that'd be awesome. I know uh, CM Punk, a lot of my CM Punk figures need that belt. I just like displaying my figures. Like when I play, have them displayed on the shelf, I love displaying them with titles. Like if, if they have a certain attire that they had worn during that time, just gives it a real complete feel. Now, the, the next one, you guys, that I want to cover is the WWE title, but not the one that we've gotten, you know, over and over. But I'm, I'm t what I'm talking about here is the Scratch logo. The Scratch logo one right here, this one has fallen into the rare category. So give us that. This one, another belt that you can utilize on different superstars. The ECW right here, which one uh, when they had uh, re-released, like when they had brought it back to WWE. Not before WWE, because the one before WWE, you can get it in multiple figures. This one, you were only able to get it with that, uh, was it the Mad Hardy ringside exclusive? Yes, it was the ringside Mad Hardy. And it is not a rare figure. I know uh, ringside does still have several of those Mad Hardys up. But I'm sure once they sell out, man, the, you know, the ranking on this. I mean, there's multiple. We're going to have to pull out this a little bit higher to show you the next two. Because the next two, they kind of hide underneath the Elite Collection sticker right there. So once you pull it back up, it's the IC title. We need the IC, the Intercontinental title, the old classic one. I think the old classic one, I mean, I can put it on my Kurt Angle, on my, you know, Jeff Jarrett Custom. And the only time that we've gotten this release right here, this WCW right here, this old one. I mean, I'm talking about back, back, early 90s. Was it 90s? Or, yeah, it was the 90s. Um, was Farouk. Or not Farouk. But uh, Ron Simmons right there, this belt would just be great to see this again. Because I know uh, now that they've all just gotten cleared out of the shelves, that uh, Ron Simmons right here, yeah, this belt is going <laughs> to it's gonna get pretty rare here sooner than later. And again, introduce maybe like some of the other ones, like the actual Cruiserweight uh, WC, uh, WCW title or the Tag Team titles or the ECW. Like there's just a whole bunch of different belts from earlier in the days that they could introduce in this belt pack. Give me your thoughts though, you guys. Let me know what you guys feel about some of the belts that you would like to see if Ringside Exclusive does end up re-releasing this. I think that would just be something they could really just, you know, just benefit. I mean, a lot of different uh, variations of different titles, especially the ones that we haven't seen yet. Or, you know, like... If they do put this out, maybe not re-releases, but maybe the ones that we've all requested. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.